Hello, today I'm going to be talking about Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Um, this was published at the beginning of 2014, uh, but I got a copy a couple months ago and I thought I would review it for Halloween because it's a horror story. But then last weekend things went really wrong and I had all this out of focus footage and I just... Ah. So now this is a post-Halloween video. Horror Store is set in the fictional shop of Orsk, which is like an American imitation Ikea. And we follow one of the employees or store partners Amy. And things start getting kind of weird at Orsk, like they'd come in in the morning and things would be messed up and moved. So one day the store manager Basil tasks himself, Amy and another employee Ruth Ann to do a night shift at the store and see what's happening overnight. Everything's kind of normal and explainable until they have like a seance and then everything gets to <laughs> really supernatural and batshit and weird. And the store starts like playing tricks on them and there's this whole backstory, and it's all very scary. So what did I think of this book? Not for me, just not for me. Perfectly nice to read, I really liked the characters, I think the setting was incredible. It's really, really interesting to have like a setting that you are familiar with already, like you can picture moving about in the store because you've been to them. Um, so I really, really like the setting, but I just don't like horror. And this is me uh, discovering that like bodily mutilation and torture just aren't the kind of things I like to read. So if you know you like horror or want to try it out, would definitely recommend. But if you don't, then just don't, don't put yourself through that. You don't need that. You don't need that in your life. So the first thing I want to talk about is the visually enhanced novel. You may have noticed that this looks exactly like an Ikea catalogue. It even has like prices and pages and stuff, but it's quite scary because there's a man here. And the back cover is the same as the front cover, but with things having happened to it. So the book kind of pretends to be an Orsk store catalogue. Um, like on the inside there's a, there's a store map and the start of each chapter um, has like one piece of furniture that appears in the chapter and tells you about it and has like the item number and what colour it's available and stuff. And as you get further through these become a lot more sinister. Um, like this is the, the Krange. Um, embrace the simplicity of eternal repetition with Krange. A rustic, I don't know how to pronounce that by the way, a rustic handle mounted on, on resistant gears to encourage eternal turning. Enter a meditative state of despair after 100 turns, 1000 turns, even 10,000 turns. The only rule is that it never stops, even when your body does. Available in iron. <laughs> I think beyond it just being a fun novelty of like pretending to be a catalogue, it's really cool to have an area where you could just experiment more with writing and you know it's not part of the novel um, but it means you can have it's like a totally different medium of expression i'm not talking about graphic novels because you come into graphic novels with a certain expectation of like what the visuals are going to deliver to you this is more just adding a layer on top of the novel which i think is really powerful one of my favorite things is on the inside flap um, and it says Pleasingly proportioned with generous French flaps and a soft cover binding, Horror Store delivers the psychological terror you need in the elegant package you deserve. Isn't that so perfect? There are like so many levels of meta in there. I really wish there were more books like this where they have like very much like a novel in writing, um, but have these other elements that they can put in. It's also really satisfying for me on a designer note because I think that almost everything I read could be enhanced with not necessarily visuals, but another kind of angle on it and I think this really really aces that. The other thing I want to talk about is the perception of environment. So we have kind of these three main characters, Amy, Basil and Ruth Ann. And Amy has had to drop out of college for financial reasons and she's been working in Orsk for like four years and she hates it and she just is really struggling to like pay rent and stuff and it's just like the most dead end thing to her. Basil's had like a difficult life but he's really trying to perform he's like trying to level up he's really like if i'm going to be stuck here i'm going to do the best i can here and then ruth ann is just like happy she's just happy she's been working there for like 20 years or something and she's just totally content with her life and it's kind of made me think about getting into a job like that in a place that kind of you know doesn't have any natural light you can just be stuck in this world and then realize you've been working there for five years and it's made me think that so much of your enjoyment of the place is your state of mind and it isn't how you got there or like why you're there or how long you're there um, it's what you think you can do with that and how you can like make it a positive experience. Like Amy's there and she hates it. She doesn't feel like she has any other choice in like where else she could work and how she could, you know, afford to live and stuff. But she also doesn't try and succeed in it. She doesn't try and like move up in ranks in the company and stuff. And it's partly because she was like, even if I try and apply for more managerial positions, I'm only going to be making like 50 cents more an hour or whatever. So she's like, it's not worth it. But isn't it not worth it to like, have more responsibility and learn more and do more and like try and 
inch even slightly closer to your goal of like getting out there and getting a different job. I don't know, it's just made me think that I really don't want to be in a dead end job but what I want even less than that is to not realise how bad it is for me. Yeah jobs. Anyway, this has been my video on Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Uh, have you read it? What did you think of it? Um, after this video, do you want to read it or not read it if you haven't already? Tell me, uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye!